<laughs> and uh, I was working and stuff. And but I was never happy. So uh, and I just uh, I had gone through a lot of stuff in my life. So I just give up on God. Although I knew God from the age of 13. And, I, and uh, so anyway, uh, so when God touched me, and I I really had this thing inside my heart where I never felt good by myself, something cool, an iPhone, or you know whatever it is that makes you happy. Uh, I never felt happy, and you know maybe at that moment, but then it, it was never long lasting. But in my heart, I always felt that, you know, if I did something to help somebody, that made me happy. And then to keep seeing that person happy and you know living a good life, that would make me bring me joy. So that used to be in my heart. And uh, anyway, when I was going through all sorts of uh, stuff in my life. A pastor missed his flight, he came and he spoke to me in those very words and I hadn't told anybody. And that's where it really changed and I really felt like I had to go out and do something, you know, without spending <coughs> money, partying and living a, a, a namesake Christian life, uh, stuff like that. So, and uh, my first thing, uh, I mean I was so notorious, when I, when I told my parents that I was leaving, uh, they told me, they asked me, where are you going and what's the, who's the girl you're going with? <laughs> you know, so that's how, uh, you know, <laughs> notorious I was in people, you know. Uh, so, for me, that, that first step was the biggest step, I think, uh, to make a decision, you know, to go out. Because uh, I think before, uh, you know, when you see somebody who's in need, you know, you might see someone on the street and you might... You might, you might come, the thought might come to you saying, oh, you know, that guy looks like, you know, he's going through something, or that girl's going through something. <coughs> but you would never go and approach them and talk to them, you know, and you never, you just always think, oh, maybe they're doing this, or maybe this has happened to them, or something like that. But I, I want to tell you all that the biggest uh, challenge is to break that barrier, where you are telling yourself, you, you yourself, is that barrier, is, uh, you know, what you need to break. And once you tell yourself, no, I'm going to talk to that person, doesn't matter, you know, maybe I get slapped or whatever, you know, uh, you just need to step out, you know, that is the first step that you need to make when you want to go out there and speak. And that's what I did. And trust me, I did ever imagine that I would be in this place speaking to so many people. I never like to talk to people, uh, you know, those days. Uh, but now it brings me so much joy to share uh, my story to people, you know. I, I, I don't believe in, you know, coming to the church or, you know, and telling people, oh, you know, God did this for me, God did that for me. Yes, that is important, I think. Um, but the most important thing is to share your story with somebody who doesn't know Jesus. You know, mm -hmm. I believe that you need to go out. I mean, they're, they're, I don't know. Uh, I know, yeah, in Dubai, you get people coming to your door sometimes, uh, you know, asking you for money, they're in some crisis, or you know, maybe somebody known, or like back in Sri Lanka or in India, I'm sure you'll be, find people on the streets. Uh, you know, when they come up to you and they say, hey, uh, you know, can you help me, they, just, they don't even say anything, just give your hand, but have you ever taken the time to ask them their name? Have you ever taken the time to ask them what their problem is? Because that makes a bigger difference than giving them a few rupees or a few dirhams. Uh, I've come to notice that I, I just, you know, I just randomly, if I feel in my heart, you know, that I need to talk to the person, I'll just do that. And that has made a bigger impact than helping the person financially because their biggest problem would be that they are not loved, they are not taken care of, or they nobody, nobody really cares for them. You know, they, they, they lack an identity. They don't like, <coughs> if you talk to uh, uh, somebody, you know, they might be a doctor, they might be a teacher, they might be... You know, and they have an identity. Person on the road, they don't have, they don't have an identity. That's why they are on the streets. So, if you just take that moment to ask them their name, you know, get to know them, you know, that makes a bigger impact in their life. And then you tell them their your story, you know, because you know most of us here or all of us here didn't start, you know, off really big, and you know we didn't start in Dubai or you know something like that. Uh, we all started little, and if you look at yourself then and now, you definitely grow, right? So I, 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 you know, you need to share your story with them, basically, you know, because like them, they are in the beginning stage where you may have been once, you know, and you can share your experience, help them to get there, and in the process, you don't even need to say, you know, God will help you. I don't believe in going and say, you know, God will help you, and this go off, because. In the process of loving that person, that person will know God. They will, they will, they will ask questions. You know, they will search for what, what brings you joy. 
Mm. And Christ is what brings us joy, mm. right? So in the process, everything happens. You know, you don't need to go and say, okay, I'm going to convert this person. That is not our idea of converting the person. The idea is to share to share God's love. And once you've done, that is your job. You know, that person will continue to serve God or whatever it may be. You know, you just plant the seed and it will grow. You know, maybe you will just plant the seed, somebody else will water it, somebody else. Sometimes you'll just say hello, you know, you'll be nice to the person, you'll help them at the moment, you go away. But if you have planted the seed, a few years later you might come and say, whoa, big tree. You know, he's doing something greater than me sometimes, you know, and that will bring you so much joy. So I encourage you all, all to, you know, take, take some time every week, you know, in our church we have this thing this year. Where, uh, for us to reach one, uh, each one to reach one each week. And, uh, you know, I've really taken that on as a challenge, you know, as I work with missions and stuff uh, in the church. Uh, you know, just take some time, you know, every week just say, I'm going to talk to somebody. And so you keep always keep your eyes open to, you know, meet somebody new, talk to somebody in the metro, you know, people don't really talk much on the train, uh, you know, people don't talk in the buses, you know, you, you just make a difference because. You know, God God has given you guys so much. You know, you all are not walking 10 miles to school and back. You know, like some people in East Timor. You, you guys know so much. You know, if you all have a wound, you all will go and get it treated. There are people who don't know what to do with a wound and they die. Just with a little cut on their feet or whatever. You know, so you all are so blessed. And you know, to, much, uh, to whom much is given, much is expected. And I really challenge all of you all to go out and make a difference. Show God's love. Don't come to church and keep telling everybody what God has done for you. They already know God and they already know what God can do. You know, go out there and tell somebody who doesn't know about God. That is what you all are there for, you know, because we are not, you know, the Bible says, you know, be, uh, be in the world but not of the world. You know, if you keep a submarine, on the land that can't do anything, it can't go anywhere. It, it's nothing. So we have to be in the water. We don't we don't remove ourselves. Say, no, now I'm a Christian, so I go to church, I do my work, but I don't talk to anybody. You know, I don't want to sing, so I just go to work and come back home. I go to church. You know, I meet my Christian friends. That is not the life of a Christian. We are Christian to go and tell people about God, to share the love of God. God has loved us so much. He has given us so much. Give away whatever you don't have at home, whatever you don't use at home for six months, give it away. You know, make somebody happy. Because you're not using it. And that would give a, make, make, you know, I mean, that person would see God's love. You have so much stuff in our houses sometimes just lying around, not doing anything. But, you know, for somebody else, that is gold. Our garbage could be somebody else's gold. So, I mean, there are so many ways, just look around and you can do so much more than what you are doing here Amen. today. So, I really challenge you all, you know, even if, it, even if you don't find, I mean, I mean, there are enough opportunity here, if you want, you can, if you look, you will find. But even when you go home, don't just go home just to party or be with your family. You know, go out there, you know, go into a village, you know, just talk to the people, you know, just take a whole bag of toffees and go to a village and just give it out to children, you know, I mean, that makes a bigger impact than, you know, throwing a party for your family, you know, take your whole family and go, you know, I mean, that is the way you need to do it, I believe that brings so much joy, not only for yourself, but I mean, so, so many other people, you know, you might not know their names, but they will remember you for a long time, and that is, that, that just gives God the glory, you just need to say, you know, I mean, I, I don't know half the people, you know, in our church, you know, but they all know me. I don't know why. And I'm like, why? I don't know why, but I just say, yeah, because I don't believe that I am so great, right? I don't believe that. Even if people come and say, oh, you know, you are doing a really good job. And I'm like, I, I don't, I don't even know, but all glory to God. So God has blessed you to bless others. So just do that and show your love. And that's all you got to do. So, amen. Thanks. Thank you very much. God bless you. Just one story and then I'll give